Breaking news following our Channel 2 investigation into a cancer-causing chemical found in Houston's drinking water. A congressman is now calling for action after our report last night. Representative Al Green sent a strongly worded letter to the EPA today, writing in part, evidence of harmful chromium-6 levels must be investigated. To this end, I am sending a letter requesting the EPA investigate the circumstance presented by KPRC Channel 2. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez broke this important story last night at 6 o'clock. Haley, these findings are getting a lot of attention. They sure are, Bill. In fact, a lot of people have been reaching out to us, reaching out to us on Facebook. One woman said that she saw our story and recognized that one of these treatment facilities was just right down the street from her house. One of the ones that was known to have a high level of chromium six. Now, chromium six, if you remember, it is the cancer is it's the cancer causing chemical that can be naturally occurring or can come from industrial pollution. Either way, it is known in animal tests to cause cancer. So that's why this woman wanted to talk to me on camera this afternoon about her concerns with chromium six. Kids used to drink out of this. <laughs> That's what's scary. Gina Play White it, says her family it. has been drinking the water in a leaf for more than 30 years. It concerns me because my husband has health problems. She does not claim her husband's chronic disease is directly tied to chromium six, but wonders. I don't even know how to go about finding out if that could have been a cause. The street where White lives has chromium six levels of 6.7 parts per billion. While our federal and state government have not set a definitive standard for what's acceptable, the state of California leads the charge, recommending a maximum of 10 parts per billion. 6.7, that's getting close to 10 to me. Yvonne Forrest with the City of Houston Public Works Department says the water is safe to drink. If they do establish a level of 10 parts per billion, you mentioned earlier and our results show that we're at six, then our current treatment process keeps us below the established level. Average chromium six levels across the entire city of Houston are the third highest in the country. The Environmental Protection Agency told me it plans to have a comprehensive evaluation of potential health effects associated with chromium six, but not until sometime in 2017, which sparked a passionate response from Houston area Congressman Al Green, who represents the A-Leaf area, asking the EPA for an accelerated investigation, writing, I share these concerns and firmly believe that we should take prompt corrective actions when a credible threat is identified. So a lot of you have been asking about the filtration for this water. How do you get it out of your homes? Well, Dr. Lee from Rice University tells me that the regular carbon filters like the Brita brand will not work to eliminate uh, chromium six. She says that you would need something specifically engineered for reverse osmosis. That would be something that you would install under your sink. Of course, that's going to cost you anywhere from 100 to $1,000. But if you are interested in finding filters that filter out chromium six, we've got links on our website. You can find this article under the investigate section of click2houston.com. Reporting live in A-Leaf, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Haley. Our coverage of this important story extends to our website. We have an interactive map where you can discover the chromium-6 levels in your neighborhood. It's in the investigate section on click2houston.com.